Whether you realize it or not, muscle loss is affecting your life in some way. This is why you get frail as you age and it's one of the biggest things that will impact the quality of your life when you are older. So today I'm going to help you understand it, including what you can do about it. Hey, I'm Melanie from Female Fitness Systems and today we're talking about why you lose muscle and strength as you age. So this loss of muscle is also known as sarcopenia and you have probably seen this happening in your life somehow. So for example, if you have aging parents or relatives or friends, you've probably noticed that year by year, they seem to be getting weaker and smaller and they may be more reliant on you for help because they're starting to lose their independence. If you're in your 40s, you are probably noticing signs of muscle loss. You may be starting to feel less strong, even if it's just subtle and you may be also noticing that your body composition is changing. So part of sarcopenia is that not only do we have less muscle, but we start to have more fat. So our body composition just starts to change. And then if you've had periods of inactivity or illness, you will have also noticed that when you come out of those times, you feel like you've lost significant muscle and strength. So this is all part of that natural process, that muscle loss as we age. And today I really want to help you understand it because it's so important that you understand why it happens so that you know what you can do about it. So most people accept these changes as a normal part of aging, but I've always believed that if you understand what's going on, then you can do everything in your power to change how things turn out for you. So let's talk about how sarcopenia progresses throughout the lifetime. So starting in your 20s, things feel easy. If you want to build muscle and change your body composition, you can easily do so. Sarcopenia starts in your 30s, although for most of us, it really only starts to become noticeable in our 40s, especially if you aren't weight training. It's estimated that you lose three to 8% of your muscle mass per decade after age 30. In your 60s, this muscle loss really accelerates and some estimate that you may lose around 3% per year. Now this is just muscle loss, what I've just talked about. They estimate that the loss of strength is even greater. And so obviously if you're concerned about the quality of your life and your independence as you get older, this is a really big deal. So why does this happen? Well, it's thought to be caused by a variety of things. For example, cellular changes, changing hormones. As we get older, our diets change. So a lot of older people tend not to eat enough, particularly protein. And then of course our lifestyle and our exercise habits. So there are a lot of reasons that we lose muscle mass as we age, and it's going to be different for everybody. But what I wanted to talk about today is something called anabolic resistance, because this is one of the main reasons that we lose muscle as we age. Anabolic resistance is a term used to describe the fact that as we get older, our body becomes less efficient at building and maintaining muscle tissue. It means that as we age, it becomes harder for our bodies to use nutrients, especially protein, to make our muscles stronger and to maintain muscle. It also refers to the fact that as we get older, our muscles become less responsive to the muscle building effects of weight training. So this means that the same type and intensity of exercise that might have been effective when you were younger may not be as effective for you now when you're older. So basically anabolic resistance means that as we get older, it's harder to build and maintain muscle for a variety of reasons. But this diminished response of our muscles to protein is one of the main drivers of muscle loss as we age. So I wanted to talk about it a bit more today. In your body, there are processes that happen all the time that either build up or break down the proteins in your muscles. These processes affect the overall amount of muscle you have. Eating protein is one of the main things that tells your body to make new proteins for your muscles. This helps to increase your muscle mass and can prevent muscle loss, especially when you're not active or as you get older. So having enough protein is really important for keeping your muscles strong. Now research has shown that 
older muscles are less responsive to protein and that they need more protein to stimulate what's called muscle protein synthesis. Basically, it just means that as you get older, you need more protein to build muscle. So this is why it's very important that you are meeting your protein requirements as you age. The quality of that protein is also very important. And the quality just refers to the amino acid composition of the protein. And in particular, when it comes to muscle building, we're talking about something called leucine. So leucine is an amino acid thought to be very important to stimulate muscle protein synthesis. Now, I'm not gonna get into that in more detail today. I'm planning on talking about it in future videos. So this is a good time to remind you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, so that you catch those videos when they come out. So to summarize, age-related muscle loss and whether you do anything about it is going to significantly impact the quality of your life as you get older. This loss of muscle is largely caused by anabolic resistance, which as we learned today, has to do with the fact that our muscles are less responsive to things like protein intake and weight training as we get older. So. Obviously, as you get older, you need to do things differently. And if you want some help with all of this, I'm going to leave a link to my training programs and meal plan in the description of this video. You can pop over to my website, femalefitnesssystems.com and check them out there. I wanted to leave you with the thought that this is not inevitable. How you age is so much within your control. I do think that we need a real mindset shift from focusing so much on weight loss to focusing more on building muscle and longevity and the importance of being strong as you get older. So hopefully I've helped you think about that more today. That's it from me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Hello buddy. Hi. Hi gorgeous. We're done.